Hey everybody, it's Jenny. I'm back with another project share. So as you can see, I made a boom box, but it's not like the same ones that Christian has been teaching all of us how to do. I'm actually working on one like that as well, but I'm not done with that one, but I just wanted to share this because I just finished it. And so I, um, I don't want to say why I made this, but <clears throat> I am going to give this to somebody. And so I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do and um, I wanted to make an embellishment box, but I wasn't sure um, <clears throat> if I wanted to make it from scratch or if I was going to try and make it out of an existing box. And so I decided to try and make it out of an existing box. So as you can see, this is actually a bead box and you can find these at Walmart. This is a larger sized one, um, but I like them because you don't, um, the separators don't move like some of them do. And so <clears throat> what I decided to do was cover it with paper. So all of this paper is from Bella Boulevard and it's like an old fruit. Um, rainbowish kind of paper pad or not pad but <clears throat> just a paper collection and I bought it last year and I I used it a little bit but not a lot and so I just decided that it was time for me to try and use it and I thought it would be a good timing because it's like near summer so um, I picked a background that had a little bit more white and um, <clears throat> so it had a lot of the rainbows and hearts and then I made the speakers, even the grid paper in behind, I picked that specifically so it would look like a speaker. But that is um, all part of the collection along with this polka dot one and all the heart and all this um, stripes and everything. So I think the only thing that's not part of the collection is these stickers. I had these already from another collection. Um, and it, I just thought rad just matched it. So that's why I used rad. But let me just kind of go through it step by step. So it's the same paper on the front and the back. And what I found was the back paper was a little bit, I had to make it a little bit smaller. And then well, all I did was I rounded the corners using my corner punch. And then um, to adhere it, I wasn't sure what would work on plastic. I know like if you use a hot glue gun, it might not stick um, for very long. And so what I decided to try, and I hope it stays, is this E6000 spray adhesive. And when I looked, it did say that it works on plastic. So I thought it might be <clears throat> worth a shot because then it would give me like a... Um, it wouldn't make it too gloppy. Um, and it didn't doesn't have an odor like the regular E6000. So I'm hoping it has the staying power of regular E6000. So anyway, I did use that. I just sprayed the box <clears throat> and then and then I put the paper on top of it. So oh, anyway, so I didn't want too much black to be showing. So um but I did want it like dimensional. And so the first thing I did was I cut one of the cassette tapes which is from the KS Crafts <clears throat> die sets. This is the smaller version, so there's two sizes. Um, the smaller one I decided to use because then I could make sure that it would fit between the two um, speakers. And so, um, I don't know if you can tell, but I did do make it into a shaker. So I added in some gold micro beads that I have. It's just sitting on my stash. I gotta start using all that stuff. <clears throat> and then, um, so it is like on foam. And then I have found these um, gold, uh, I don't know what they're, like stickers. Um, <clears throat> kind of like those pearls, but they're gold faceted. So I use that to mimic like the buttons that you would normally have. And then um, to do the speakers, I use that plaid paper. And I made like a, I cut it out in like a circle. I had to actually had to make my own frame using two circle dies because it didn't work quite right um with the other <clears throat> circle frames that i had and so i made my own um and this this is like the only paper that doesn't come in the collection this hot pink one but i had some enough of a leftover where i could make it um for the frame of the speaker i didn't want to make it all black because i thought it would like be too much black and then i made this um the what is it called this shaker mix so I just kind of looked at all the colors and I just made, tried to make like rainbowish and I added a lot of stars and some flowers but part of it is because like I don't have like this bright pink color in too many sequins 
so I had to use the flower. That's why it's a flower. Anyway. Anyway, so then um, to prop it up, I did use this um, thicker foam that I have. It's probably like five or six milliliter millimeters. Um, and I have it on a roll and I just had it left over from when we were making those cup of happiness or something like that. Cup of love or <laughs> whatever. I'm sorry, I forget what Christian calls them. But anyway, I had left over and so I thought I would um, die cut it out of a circle again and then mount it so that it was a little bit further up compared to the um, tape. And then this one I just uh, I just cut a rectangle and then I rounded the corners and then again, I didn't want too much black, so then I covered it with, um, this was like a scrap, and I mounted that on the same foam. Um, this one I just used a shorter foam tape, and then I added the rad. So this would be kind of like, you know when you're dialing, this is like the dial for the radio, then this would be like where it shows up, like the numbers, like 93.9 or whatever. <clears throat> but instead of numbers, I just put rad, because I thought that that matched. And then um, I punched out several circles and I layered and I layered them, I glued them together to get the height. And then um, I used, I just cut strips and then I used my corner rounder to make this so that you know where the, where your dial is facing. So anyway, um, okay, then to, to attach this, what is it called? The handle. This was the hardest part for me. So I actually... Um, I always try to make it sturdier, so I used red line tape and I adhered um, some acetate to the underneath side of it um, so that it's a little bit stronger than if it was just a regular strip of paper. And then, so this is a 12 inch strip and then I just, um, I scored it at one inch and then one and a quarter inch in um, and same on this side. So it's one and a quarter inch tall and one inch um for the attachment and then I wasn't sure how I was going to attach it so what I ended up doing is I um I punched a hole and I actually so you can see here where I made a boo-boo because I thought I was going to attach it there but it looked weird so then I just got um I have this punch here uh it's by we are memory keepers I don't know what it's called like a power punch or something and it's really tiny look at the um the, the hole it makes so um but it's really strong so it can punch through even metal and that's why i bought it a long time ago you might be able to use your crocodile i think it's pretty strong too but the only thing about the crocodile is where the punch is so the punches are on the sides here and i wouldn't be able to get my tool far enough in um here so i had to like open I had to open it and then stick it in and then it wasn't gonna like you could you could fasten it like an eyelid but you can't sorry I keep hitting it. um but anyway this one you can go in that far so what i did was i just got you might even just be able to use your pokey tool because what i did was i used my pokey tool to kind of mark where i wanted it and then i used that to punch it but i think you could just use your pokey tool and just poke all the way through that's my guess you guys but anyway i made a mistake because when i put it here it looked a little weird um it needed to go a little bit longer but i still like how it came out and i don't think it's that noticeable um i'm not sure what i'm gonna do maybe i'll cover it with a sticker or something but i'm super happy with how it came out you guys like i totally didn't know if i could pull this off or not and i think it still looks like a stereo right like a boom box um so i hope the recipient likes it i now need to make stuff to go inside it um but that is i mean i just want to share this already like i didn't want to wait till like i had to make all the stuff so later on once i fill it i will share it again but i just wanted to share this right now because i thought it was a really fun way of making an embellishment box and i'm sure you can probably do the same um <clears throat> with a smaller size box you just want to make sure that your box is more rectangular looking instead of square or you know you know what i'm saying or like the real long ones so anyway i hope you um are inspired by this and see what else you can make from your embellishment box because maybe it doesn't have to just be a box that you just like put like flowers and stuff maybe you can do something else with it like make it into a boom box okay well i hope you guys like my project i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye